Wow! The cafeteria is <laughs> not <laughs> <laughs> any restaurant! You fucking- you intro for this! This is your boyfriend! You got chocolate in your mouth. Citizens! Colonel! Sanders Chicken Citizens! Okay, there you go. And Tiny Chicken Wing George. Pop, 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 bitch! Well, anyway, yeah, wow, the cafeteria is nice any of um... Go. Oh, you know what? You know what? Hang on. We're gonna we're gonna blow through this because Let's blow it, through it, it didn't immediately. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God, that's Nance. Oh, oh, we did this. This isn't Ooh. real. This is not real. Yeah, it's all right, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll. We're gonna cut this. Don't even act like it's fine. It's not fine. It's garbage. Stop thinking and start eating. Do do do. Oh, yes. Nothing less than 11 herbs and spices. Ooh, ah, it's Sexy Man. And he's gone. I bet. Hey, Ashley! So this is what she turns nice. Yeah, because she wants that 11 herbs and spices. Oh, is that what she wants? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, Josh. Ah, what did I do? Last time you did... Trying to identify every flavor? Yes, so... That's what it was. So why are you doing the same thing? Because we have to continue. On where we were. Oh, uh, yes, it was my headset. I told you. You approached Cole Sanders. Cole Lono. Oh, Colonel. Ooh, you got all sweaty. Uh -huh. Oh, a bunch of good stuff. It's his shoehorn. It's a chicken stuff. Yeah, but it's his shoehorn. What does shoehorn stuff. mean? It helps you put your shoes on. That's stupid. It's not, and a lot of people uh, use them. So you got uh, Moxie. Uh, Oh, yeah. Oh my god, I use blank. Blank, wow! It's paprika. Oh, yeah, that's right, we find him out here. You did. I think it was be modest. Be modest. Be Boom, bada bing, bada boom! I will marry you. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Oh, that's right, we were here. And now we pick up where we've left off. Hello, citizens! We're picking up part two. Part two, right? Yes, part, part two. Part two, Colonel Sanders, even though there's no R in his fucking name. Except we're at the end of Sanders. Um, we're doing, like, the cooking competition cutthroat kitchen with Miriam. Josh, why are you skipping through all the words? I'm sorry, go ahead. Miriam's your voice. I don't yeah, we can anymore. we can also just not do voices. We're just not gonna voices. So just read. <sighs> Wait a second. Oh no. We have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You will, Mary. Lotto, that's you! You're not gonna blow anything, except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're gonna earn with your signature adorable Donny Food creations. <laughs> oh my god, sprinkle that forgot about him. He's he's captain teacher. Uh, he's not a colonel, but he's a captain teacher. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. Oh, for today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. <gasps> Josh, who are you going to pick? Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but able to control yourself, you bounce on Colonel Sanders. Are you serious? I didn't even choose it. It just was like, nah, you, you want Sanders. You're gonna upset your friendo. Hey, Colonel! Would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is. Me and you, if that wasn't clear. Wow. Wanna be my partner? Why don't you just, like, ask him to. Look, look what you've done to your friend! You're a dick. Sure, Lyle. I'll prepare our station. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Oh, Jesus it's Christ. Bob! <laughs> the refrigerator! I hope she. Hello, new partner. Hangs up with the fridge. Clank. Oh my, two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. Um, we're gonna give her the. We're giving her Clank. We're giving her Clank? Yeah. Clank. A fucked pop. She's not hanging out with Pop. 
Sorry, Pop and Miriam, we partnered with Clank today. Look at look how happy you Clank stole is. Stole my goddamn voice. What? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know I was Ursula. It's okay. I already ate. This is you. You're the narrator. Pay attention. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea of what the point of school even is at this juncture. Clank is clearly excited. That's what I said. To have some attention, he heats up and begins to roll back and forth. <laughs> Warp, warp, warp. Hold on there, fella. We haven't know have the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. I agree. He's clearly the best. <laughs> Tissue, I hardly know you. <laughs> <laughs> Clank judders and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Looks like you two will be fine. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. What? Oh, sorry, I guess this that makes sense. This hot piece of chicken right here. It's, that's not what Sprinkles is saying. <laughs> um, all right, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. It's like watching Top Chef Kitchen. Wait. Top Chef in Cutthroat Kitchen. No chef is an island. Only islands are islands. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. That's not true. Which dish do you suggest you to your partner, Colonel S Ooh, steak tartare seems can I can I help with this? Because I actually know what food is. No, there's only one correct choice. <sighs> it's clearly grandmother's no! mashed potatoes and gravy. You fucking asshat. <laughs> I've always been something of a down home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm and inviting. Comforting. Don't even talk to me. <laughs> Maybe mashed potatoes? <gasps> and gravy? <What? laughs> oh! That's what he just did. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Get away from me. Why don't you just hook up with him? Will you get off your phone and be a part of this? Colonel Sanders cast a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go be red. Embarrassed. Beats are mostly like a dark purple, but it's fine. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll go get the potatoes! Now, please. Let me pick a proto. Perfect proto. It's a passion of mine. Well, then, what's your passion? Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does anyone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? Some bitch, you do! We're just cooking partners! Mind your own business! That was pretty aggressive. Oh. I'm just trying to sign in. I don't care. Sanders' heart is. Uh my business. And you better keep your fingers off my man! See? Because she has a heart right there. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. No one else can see it. Did Muscles someone, McKenzie! Did someone call me? I belong in Jotaro universe. <laughs> just, his hair is an actual <laughs> star. Yeah, you just saw that? Uh, no, jeans, Van Van. While I'm over here, cursing, crushing, wiles, dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That's the idea I remember. Fucking bitch. Colonel Sanders returns, iron full of peeled potatoes, dogs them into the boiling water, and turns his attention to you and your old friends. <sighs> oh, howdy there, Ashley. Van Van, are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looked like Lyle was struggling, so I offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. That's true. True dad, Alicia. I was gonna say, it's Alicia. Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level, ha? Huh? Doubt it. Don't be rude, fan fan. First, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to con uh, concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your friend, fried chicken, looks <laughs> quite spectacular. Listen, his pants are right there, and the F, and right it's... It's a little hard to see, even concoct. It's just the way it's up there. Fine, you do all the reading. See if I care. I can't read for. I actually. I'm not gonna write. You're not gonna read me. anything. It's phone. But Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing. <laughs> I was pointing in your direction. Uh, continue. Yeah. 
Don't you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? Can Not available. Stop hitting We shit. fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Because she has giant drumsticks. Boom! Drumstick! Nothing but this. Wait, nothing about this makes sense. But one thing is clear. She's coming for the colonel if you don't want. Ow. Ashley is really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Don't ask Mary, you stupid bitch, because you just fucking bailed on her. <laughs> don't you even. Don't. Sorry, you're telling me to turn to Colonel Sanders. Hunk of hunks in my time of need. Yeah, I am, because fucking. Miriam you just got abandoned by you. She, she deserves better. I'm here to learn and to express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Oh, shit. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect that format! Okay? You turned to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I hope he's like... Mm. I chose Colonel Sanders. And Colonel Sanders chose me, and isn't that right? Chose and there's a big fat cat laugh. up here now. Hey, buddy, what's up? It's like, I choose you, Papa. The businessman and respects all fair agreements. From contracts to handshakes, I took on Lyle as my partner for this activity and I stand by it. Sit your fat butt down. <laughs> He's like, I got a nozzle into your chest here, Papa. Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Lyle's natural talent or their loyalty. Shit. Being offended by <laughs> Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling... Proud and full of danger. Hey, you look for Sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. You look down at your stitch and realize that in the tension moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. That's... N no. Distracted by the drama, you're already crushed and boiled the potatoes. You have been boiling potatoes for about ten seconds. Yeah, Pip agrees. No way they're fucking mashed. Oh, whatever. Plenty of butter and cream. Let's go. Uh, your your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Is he gonna get spices? Colonel Sanders extends his hand and bitch slaps Alicia. Ashley. Ashley. Uh, oh he's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat. Oh my god. Out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Gravy. Ew. Uh, gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The result looks spectacular. Granny would be very proud. I bet there's no garlic in those fucking potatoes. <sighs> Colonel Sanders, hold up a spork. Wait, hold a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it. But he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork. <laughs> and for that small moment... All of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. <laughs> Pip is uncomfortable oh my with God. Colonel Sanders. Can you get up there? Oh, right, Colonel Sanders holds a spork <laughs> out. There's no uh, particular reason for the pause in this video. <laughs> I need to walk him back to the chair. <laughs> oh my God. You almost I am mean Pip, to. off the back of the couch. Pip, come here, buddy. Papa doesn't want to deal with you, and you're gross, and you should probably be sequestered somewhere else. <sighs> I'm sorry, buddy. You're icky. Sequester him onto the couch. Yeah, so uh, your eyes locked, the moment's electric, <laughs> time stands still. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Does he. If he loves something, set it free, I don't know. <laughs> oh my. You need to. What? Relax and together you dig the utensils into the mashed potatoes and lift a heap and spork full of when you see Ashley with a sinister look. What sinister? Yeah, that's that's not. That's sinister. like, hey. She's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. Or maybe she just wants to be with Colonel Sanders. Get over your fucking self, Lyle. Oh shit. And then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the spork full of mattress right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. <laughs> You're a dick, Lyle. I don't know if you know that. My man, do something, do something! Aww. Scooping up a fingerful. <laughs> a fingerful? Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious! Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? George! 
Hold on right there, Lyle. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. Colonel Sanders didn't do shit. If you throw one more spoonful, you both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I have potatoes, face? Oh my god. Van Van is <clears throat> back over. Covered. A covered dish in his hand. Ooh. Oh. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Put that. In just a few minutes, I prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce. Uh, plated on a battle axe forged by my supreme chef ancestors. I think he's better than you guys. I doubt it. You've ignored me for too long. What ends now? It is I who will have the first bite, and you will look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plot. No doubt! Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus is rushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic! Too late. It has been eaten. I, uh, think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. It um, killed him! Everyone step back. Don't take another bite. When you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. Oh my god. You notice that the tip of the tentacle is being served up in Pop's mouth. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> Pop winches in pain just for a moment, then it's almost immediately back to his oblivious self. I knew he'd be fine. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. Oh my god. The entire class <clears throat> is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock is frozen the whole crowd. They are motionless as statues. The class bell rings. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> disrupting the moment and stopping everyone. Back to reality. <laughs> It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite his... Where's Pip? He went out there somewhere. Okay. It's obvious. Oh, he's by the kitchen door. Danger. <laughs> oh, looking real pathetic. Uh, has inoculated him against poisons of all coins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. Um, hello! I turned into a ghost over here! <laughs> Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student, you're such a dick! <laughs> um, and his nonsense, all Colonel Sanders, wait, and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry, I had to go through that. Please. And then walk you home. You guys are the fucking worst. This just makes me hate <laughs> KFC more. What? Like for real? Oh, come on! Uh, you follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. You guys suck ass. At night, the school building is taking on another vibe entirely. A really inappropriate, unsafe vibe. It's dark, and more than a little spooky. There's a fucking ghost, maybe! Colonel Sanders stands in the quads, neon glo- What neon? And speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Why are you trying to grab my hand? I'm not Lyle. Before you go on, <laughs> I want you to know, they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders <laughs> is getting choked up. <laughs> Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. You've met him? Colonel Sanders! Oh my god. Yes, La? There's something I need to tell you. Oh my god. <laughs> ha ha! Who's here? Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you see, when I was just a boy, I was a poor boy. And you're from a poor family. Um, I had a dream that one day I will be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. So you spent way too much time doing makeup and hair stuff. He is clearly getting irritated by Van Van's bullshit. <laughs> He's like, that belt is too big and obnoxious. And every day since, I've been working toward that dream, day and night, never stopping, except to do my hair. 
Never resting, except to sleep. Also, lifting out of weights, like so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all of our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Should we, though? Hey, no, I... You... Uh, should I, but... I'm the one here on Silent's personal stuff. I mean, the star of the story. Are we forgetting that? I am not Lyle. We are forgetting that. <laughs> are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. Hmm. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long sad sigh. Oh, yes. Forgot how we're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. Ah! Uh, Sport monster is here to fight a hero. <laughs> what? What is happening right now? I uh, think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. The fuck? How dare you threaten me just as I was letting my guard down and connecting with another chef on an emotional level? Does this always happen to him? I'm afraid. I'm afraid of me because I'm a monster, see? Is he rhyming on purpose, or is that just a coincidence? But before you can discuss... Syntax. Syntax. Any further, sorry. I'm a loser, I guess. It's a turn-based fight sequence. Here we go! What will you do? Well, clearly, I... Oh I, my god, I hate this game. Go on attack. So I have to go on the attack! <sighs> oh my god. Alright, Carla. That's a Top Chef joke. It just got real. That attack really upsets Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on the attack. They spit. Hey, bitch! What'd they spit? I don't know, because you went too fucking fast. You got one damage. Fuck you, I'm giving you ten damage for cheating. <laughs> you decide to defend. Which defense will you use? Ah, uh, trepidation. You continue to stay back and endure whatever comes your way. It seems like a pretty weird strategy, but okay, sure, you do you. Spark Master focuses their mesh mind and draws an energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more intimidating. How will you respond? You should probably attack. You decide to go on the attack. What attack will you use? Check with love. Spark Master is no quitter, buffed up and ready to rumble. Josh, if you keep skipping, you just... Utilitensil, you take two damage from the attack. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. Kill it. You decide to go on the attack. I think you're supposed to lose this fight. Cook with love! Does one Josh! Give me that fucking mouse! <laughs> God damn it! What? Spork monster is oozing cheese, so I saw the on of the quad. I wonder who's going to have to clean it up. Feeling vulnerable, Spork Monster prepares for its ultimate attack. Bounded, wait, rounded edge. Sorry. Sorry, I'm a bad home oh boy. Vile Village, your right of terror stops here. <laughs> Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens. <laughs> pop, 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 oh, pinch! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yes. Pop, pop, power pinch does ten damage. Sport monster is defeated. <laughs> you s saved me. An injured spork monster spews steam into the night. Oh! Oh, well, you do. Oh, ah, oh, what would you do? I'd finish that motherfucker. Well, I'll we'll finish him, I guess. Well, so you would spare the wretched beast? I don't know. Josh, what would you do? Not spare the wretched beast. Yeah, you fucking would. I know, you're like, I don't know. You managed to tamp down your disgust at the sight of this gnarly beast long enough to realize that he is still a living creature with a pure soul who deserves your pity, not your wrath. Be gone, beast, and don't you dare come back for a follow-up counter tomorrow. I won't forget this, and I certainly won't be back, like you said. Spork monster scuttles off into the dark. The fated monster left behind a special item. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. Oh, God, it's me, Colonel Sanders. The last name signed on it is Bor Borco. Borco. Mm -hmm. Borco, that name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the net, holding the mysterious book in your hands. 
As you come down from your battle bus, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Oh my god, it's one of these! Uh, without any of you to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home in your tired state. You don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength. Good night, my Colonel. What a freak. How in dare you? dream here together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there. Introduce, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I'd like All right. point out, this game was made by KFC. They're fucking weird, too. They're great. You awake on day two. <laughs> fucking Christ. And attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? They're just dreams, you stupid idiot. You lay in bed and stare at the ceiling. Not at your chicken poster? Thinking about the <laughs> secret you discovered while tasting Colonel Sanders' cooking yesterday. You can't believe he really used paprika. And, uh, then there was that secret ingredient and the Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. I thought you were just talking about that. I'm so confused. No. Surprised because, sure... You meet up with your bestie. Before you can tell her about the encounter, she is story. Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um... I think I might like Clank. Yeah! Like him? Like, like, like. I know, it sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about, like, I like him. Like, like him. Like, like, like. We have to talk in after class. He's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he was really smart and told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Did you know that the Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? No, but that does make complete sense. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king at a school he didn't even go to, and was also the con it was also the convertible that he himself rode in at the front of the homecoming parade. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I got it. Yeah, but he was so popular that yeah, he no, was you... voted prom king at the school he didn't even go to, and was also the convertible that he himself rode in at the front. Yeah. He was a car? Yep, that's what she said. <laughs> Alright. I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pre oh. pressure cooker language translation. I thought right. they were just leaving some shit there, and I was <laughs> like, the fuck is wrong with KFC? Either way, maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy. Like, I am. You Chris better Sanders. fuck off! You are the biggest slut right now! <laughs> oh, Colonel, I think I love you! Oh, my Colonel! And she's like, Clank's pretty cool! And you're like, you better slow down, you hussy! Like, that's how you're acting! I'm just. You, you and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in the school, the most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning! You're a thing now. We definitely connected yesterday. <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you? I guess. She sounds kind of like she doesn't believe you. Where's my mouse? Oh shit. Oh boy. I think you can just click anyway. Nope. Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. <laughs> you have an idea about how to prove... That your love is real. Then, you know what? Go back to school, to high school, you stupid idiot. You don't have to prove that shit to anybody. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? You're about to fuck up your relationship with Colonel Sanders. This is so obvious. However, you don't tell her that you know a secret ingredient, wait, however, yet, yeah, which you discover on your own. Your bestie's eyes light up. Devil red. George! What? All right, let me go see what the cats are trying to kill themselves eating. It's a secret pause. Do, 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 do. It's a piece of plastic. Because, you know, that's all they want. Tiny pieces of plastic. He's right out here. <gasps> He's right in front of the chair. George, I just don't want you to choke on plastic. Anyway, where did I leave off? A secret! I'm great out! Don't see it, Josh. Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Echo. 
Gross, Josh. Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden where I was wandering. This can't be good. He told me all about his passion for spices. Sacred spices. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a powder uh, created from super duper rare dried flower petals and that if I Big favor, I gotta have some of my own. Please, Miriam, don't tell me. You're talking about weed. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice, he even, he even met me at the gate when I arrived later and I cooked with him. A very rare, strange feeling came over me, and the flavor was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. Whatever. Anyway, we both share an interest in cooking, so we would stay in touch, you know, like, pen pals. I thought he would love to know more about the spices. Uh, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. Besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be much use to anyone. Please, please, please. Oh, it would mean the world to me. No one has to know if it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. <sighs> what do you think? Could you protect Colonel Sanders so you don't share it with your bestie? Yeah, I'm gonna make up a fake ingredient. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, because she kind of sucks around. You both suck. You guys are the worst. I hate you both together. Yeah. It, it was, was... I have Newt. I know, it sounds like something a witch's potion, but what can you do? I have Newt. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> her eyes light up imagine such a thing and you figure that you satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. She's gonna get beat up by her imaginary evil drug friend now. Uh, however, she mainly turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. What a bitch! Before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets, I think people you're interrupted. A wind, oh my god, it's your boyfriend. Cherry Blossoms! Oh my god! What a stallion. <laughs> Dork. And he's on a horse. Uh... Ooh, ah, uh, ooh. Stand back Are you gonna be admire. desperate or no. desperate? We're gonna stand back and admire his majestic glory. Mm -hmm. Colonel Sanders' <clears throat> voice is truly a thing of beauty. It's not that pretty. Without ever acknowledging that he's being what she does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. Is Danny Whitman. He then slaps the beautiful creature gently on its rear, sending it running free into the countryside. Did he ride this bear bag? With like a tiny little Yes. He's all broken. You don't you don't want that. You were so struck by the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. Is that what happens to me? Oh, I didn't realize anyone was watching. You big fucking Don't worry, he knows his way home. Attention horror. <laughs> You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, the words don't come out exactly right. What, what a horse of full butte you have. I mean, what a, a horse of full butte you have. Yeah, that's yeah, what I just said. <laughs> I've done that so many times, talking to, like, you about, like, the car. Not a horse of full butte, but <laughs> saying the same stupid shit over and over. Being a good friend, Miriam tends to cover for you. Oh, well, a lot of this gets really nervous around people, like, they like, oh, wow, great. It's not helping. I mean, they got food poisoning and they were up all night. It was gruesome. You should have seen it. Oh my god. Now that Colonel Sanders disappears from the school. He's like, yeah, they're fucking freaks. <laughs> oh my god, are we back here again? I'm so sick of it. Yeah, back to school. Sprinkles is gonna come. I'm not gonna. Demon. I missed. Hold on. Does this side go back? No, you can't go back. What's this? It's just a skip to events? That's the automatic one, I huh. think. Huh. Stop! Well, there, little one. I'm not sure ready to handle this. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't what? know. Pick something. I don't know what we've missed. <laughs> Stop acting immature, though. <laughs> Did this side turn it off? Uh, I guess not. Culinary school. I'm really sorry. I don't know. I broke it. I'm so sorry. Now he's upset them. <sighs> uh, Ashley looks fucking insane now. It's pretty great. I'm done with this. You got you gotta you gotta mouse it. I fucked it up. I'm sorry. Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? It's Ashley. You make the rules. <laughs> not <Yeah>. Ben Ben. <laughs> ben Ben's different. Ben Ben's like, I'm not sure you know a good male up at eight yo. 
being the best chief in the chef in the world. <laughs> takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity. It takes panache. <laughs> and it doesn't hurt to use a little evil. <laughs> Look at what it was they were hiding. See, we didn't miss anything. And you instantly recognize it. It's a book. Just like the one you found after your encounter with the spork monster. That's the same book I found last night in the quad. Ashley immediately elbows Van Van, who hides the book behind her back. His back. I don't even know what you're talking about. That book is a... <laughs> I think I have to... <laughs> We cut this episode pretty soon. <laughs> call it a call it a time. No, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know the cowboy in Holes, a really famous actor, <laughs> the old guy. I don't remember. <laughs> I haven't seen Holes in like twenty years. Uh, I think he's. Just... I'll find a picture. <sighs> Hold on! Don't go anywhere. This is important. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you know that they haven't just been studying the book. They've got a, a pop pinned to the wall and they're tossing potato skins at him when he tries to catch them in his mouth. Oh, they've got pop. Sorry. We're playing! <laughs> Before you can dig in any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. Beep beep. Clank must be running late. In such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Van's meaty foot. Hi, watch out. You bucket of bolts. Watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. He ran over his foot. I just see Pip walking. Nothing you're saying makes sense. This is Bizwana. Who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such language. Not even I think we might have time, though. It's such a dumb game. Um, who do you think you're talking to? Oh, oh I thought. <laughs> Click it. Go to the next one. Womp womp. Womp womp. No, your mother was a stand mixer. Oh, that pissed him right off. I don't even need to make noises because it does it for him. Van Van jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Van Van, sending him flying across the room. Protect me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> These crazed men are about to come to blows. I think it must be over. Me. But I'm not interested in either of them. Hit the button! I tried. It didn't go anywhere. Ashley's tone has completely changed. <laughs> and, and, and... Yeah. Okay. She bats her eyelashes. Alright. We're gonna end this and come back. Maybe we'll redo? Maybe.